Good morning, everyone. I'm finally getting around to doing my March favorites video. And I've got some really cool things that I'm excited to show you guys. Um, and I know some of you might have already experienced some of these items. Others of you probably, just like myself, had no idea that they even existed. So I'm gonna start by gathering the bits of the first item. I think I'm missing like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think this came in an eight pack. Um, so the first item, the first favorite in March were these. Have you guys seen these? These came from Target. Um, I believe that I unboxed these in my spring journal haul, but I'm not sure. But these are the Friction F-R-I-X-I-O-N erasable markers. These are the coolest things. Okay, so originally I got these thinking that they would be like highlighters and my initial plan was to use them in my passion planner, which yes, I'm still in my passion planner and look how thick and chunky she's getting. I plan to do a flip probably at the six month period. So probably this summer. Um, but I, I got these originally to thinking that I was going to plan with them, but I actually haven't been using them so much in that way, but these are amazing and they were great for mind mapping. So anytime I need to do some work and mind map through something, I will come to my desk and pull these out and let me show you what they look like. It's a marker. It's an erasable marker. It is, they're so cool. The colors are beautiful. Um, they write awesome and they erase. Now with the friction, if you guys have used the friction pens, it's the same concept they erase with friction. So this is not like a typical normal eraser where if you, you know, kind of slowly, it's not going to erase. The magic happens when you use friction to get the marker off. So if you guys are interested in these, I got them at Target and you can find them in the Target pen aisle. Um, super cool. I've been keeping them up here so that my children don't take them because specifically my son, he probably has the black one now that I'm thinking about it because um, it looks like my black is missing. He loves all the friction things and they have, they have a bunch of different type of pens. So that would be my first favorite from March. Um, second favorite, I usually mention a book, so let me go ahead and share my favorite read from March. And if you guys are interested in following me on Instagram, my handle is at hello blank page. And I do a lot of journaling images there. I also will post up the books that I read every month. And my favorite out of the books that I went through was Rilke's Book of Hours. Now my friend Christine has been telling me that I need to read this book for the longest time. I don't know why it's taken me so long to go through it. I've had it on my bookshelf sitting there and I am totally a poetry girl, uh, but it just, it took me forever to go through it, but it is beautiful, you guys. If you like poetry, and honestly, even if you don't, even if you don't like poetry, I think that you would still enjoy just the way that Rilke writes. I mean, it's, it's just beautiful. And so this is, um, Rilke's Book of Hours, Love Poems to God. I really resonated with a lot of these. Um, I actually sent her, this This is one of my, I actually wrote in it. So you guys can see that I write in my books. I underline, this says, what does it say? Reminds me of Christine and her love of circles. So I actually like, I wanted to document that when I read that poem, I thought of my friend. Um, I live my life in widening circles that reach out across the world. I may not complete this last one, but I give myself to it. I circle around God, around the primordial tower. I've been circling for thousands of years and I still don't know. Am I a falcon, a storm, or a great song? 
I love it. It's just like so beautiful. So that one is, I don't know the title because the title is in a different language, but um, this specific one about widening circles was probably one of my favorites out of the entire book. But there's a lot. Like I've got a lot underlined in here because it's, it's just a beautiful book. So, and I believe I gave that five stars on Goodreads. If you guys are on Goodreads, I'm I'm there. You can I believe you can just look up Heather Mattern and you'll see me and I gladly like to follow all the people because I'm always looking for book suggestions. Okay, number three, the third favorite in March, as I take a sip of my afternoon coffee. Okay, these things right here. It came in a pack of three. The third one you can see I'm already using on my journal. This is my current spring composition notebook. Um, these are the Erin Condren planner bands. And they actually, like on the back, it says Erin Condren. You can get these on Amazon. I don't remember how much they were, but they were not super expensive. But because I fill my journal and a lot of times I have the current Love Note Adventure that I'm working on for Christine like tucked inside, I like to have something to close it. But a lot of times I don't have the time to like punch a hole and do a ribbon and all of that. So I used to use little headbands, which those work great too. Um, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but they're like the band, you know, the thin headbands and those worked. But when I found these, I really love, I really love the way that they stretch and work a lot better. They tend to hold better. You can see that they, I think Erin Condren's planners are more this size, but it works great. You guys can see here. And okay. And you could even go both ways because a friend said that she'll, she'll do it. She likes to close her journal like this so she can stick inserts um, or other things in the front. And that's another great idea. It fits a composition book both ways. I just generally am used to having it like this. I don't know why, but that's just my preference. And I don't know if there were other colors that you could choose from, but this pack came with a gray, a light blue, and this beautiful pink color that I thought went great with my butterflies. So. If you guys are using composition notebooks, I highly recommend checking these out. The Erin Condren planner bands. I don't know exactly what to call them, but they're amazing. Okay. Last thing that I have to mention, my favorite, my current favorite thing to diffuse in my diffuser. You guys know I can't like do a favorite without talking about an essential oil. Um, these two things, which I use them in my water. These are the, this is the Lime Vitality and the Spearmint Vitality. These are great oils you could put in your water. Spearmint helps curb cravings. Like I, I honestly love a drop of spearmint in my water and lime. I mean, lime, who doesn't love lime in their water? But my favorite thing lately for the past month or so, still today and it's April, is to diffuse both of these together in your diffuser. So what I do, generally I'll do three or four drops of each blend and it is, oh, I can't even tell you. I mean, it's just, you would never think to put lime with spearmint or I didn't, but they're sitting up. I keep all my vita vitality oils in my kitchen so that I can cook with them or put them in my water. My diffuser is also in the kitchen. And so I was lazy one day and wanted to run the diffuser. And so I just grabbed the two that were sitting there and they happened to be lime and spearmint. And I fell in love. I fell in love with the combination of these two together as they're diffused and your house will smell, oh my gosh, beautiful. So um, if you guys have spearmint and lime, try it. Try it in your diffuser and let me know what you think. If you don't have oils yet and are interested, I do personal consultations so I can take your um, wellness concerns and we can form a little roadmap to help get you to where you want to be. So message me. I'd be glad to help you. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed these March favorites and I hope you guys are having a wonderful April. All right. Talk with you later.